Hello everyone, I'm Colt45Nash. This is my first ever YouTube video. I wanted to start a YouTube channel about baseball cards as I've been a collector most of my life and kind of gone through cards here and there and was able to come across some pretty cool cards and a buddy and I at work were talking about cards recently and it kind of inspired me to get back into the collecting um, side of baseball cards and trying to find cool cards in packs and um, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos of people doing openings and it's just so exciting to me and I really just enjoy baseball in general as well as baseball cards and thought you know it'd be a lot of fun to start a YouTube channel open some cards for everybody to see maybe get some cool cards make some exciting things happen and who knows maybe submit some cards for grading through either PSA or Beckett or something of the likes um, because of this interest in baseball cards lately, I've, I've come across and purchased a few pretty neat cards. Um, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a big Mitch Hanniger fan, so I actually have a few of his Autograph Relic Inception 2019 Tops cards in my collection now. I was really excited to get a hold of these. I think they're pretty neat cards and some of my first signatures ever from a Major League Baseball player. So I'm really catching the the bug for this and getting pretty excited enough so that I actually bought my first ever graded card. I did not open this from a pack. I purchased it on eBay, um, but I've got my for myself a Gem Mint 10 Mitch Haniger 2017 Tops Limited Edition card, and couldn't be more excited to get back into collecting and see where I'm at and maybe take a, a good look at some cards I've had in the past and what they're worth and start opening some cards on on YouTube. Um, I also, as a kind of a point to this YouTube channel, want to have kind of another way to fund my collection of baseball cards, as I know uh, it can be kind of expensive if you let it go crazy, and the wife and things aren't always really excited about that. So I figured if I could open up some cards on YouTube, maybe make a little bit of money from having ads on my channel, um, if, if everybody, if you, all you guys want to see it and you're interested in it, that'd be a lot of fun for me, and it'd take a little bit of the burden off of the cost of some cards, and and let me continue to enjoy a hobby I, I love and and really get back into it. So I've got a few things in front of me here, a hot corner box as well as some um, Heritage Tops 2019 baseball cards that I found at Target and I want to open them up see what's inside. The hot corner box, if you're not familiar with it, um, is pretty neat. It's got a hobby pack, usually like a Tops Chrome or Bowman Chrome. Um, lately it's been of the 2018 year uh, two guaranteed hits, so that's either an autograph or a relic, or both, um, as well as a few extra packs that are typically, with this box anyway, um, 2018 baseball cards. So I'm going to open up these Heritage packs first and, and see what kind of luck we have, see what we get, and see if being on camera is lucky. <laughs> see what I can do here. So first we've got Adam Duvall. And I apologize for the camera quality and audio quality. This is course my first video so I may need to make some changes and please feel free to comment below and let me know some things I can do that, that may assist me or things that are going pretty well for a first video for audio video kind of stuff um, but yeah so we've got Adam Duvall the Braves Mike Miner John Gray Matt Boyd Tony Watson and I'm not an expert on short prints um, but I would like to better understand them and how to like pick them out. So if any of you have any secrets for that, especially with the packs that I'll be opening, uh, please let me know. I'm, I'm interested in, in not missing short prints and, and really getting my money's worth and paying attention to what I've got in front of me. Uh, there's a 2019 Rookie Stars card. That's pretty cool. Oh, Manny Machado. That's that's a neat card. It's got a, it looks like just a normal print, not a not a variation or anything. And Jordan Zimmerman. All right, so that's the first Heritage Pack. Let's dive into the second one. And again, my, my whole goal behind this channel is just to, to kind of help myself continue this hobby. So it's something I can do for a long time and not have to stress maybe as much financially or, you know, just be able to really enjoy what I've got going here. All right, we got Miguel Sano. Sano, and if I slaughter these names, I'm sorry. I'm not quite as current with teams outside of the Seattle Mariners um, in the last few years, so I don't know some players, and we'll we'll have to jump into the, learning their names a little bit better. We got Tyler White, Yoenis Espinas. That's cool. I actually don't have any recent cards of him. Billy Hamilton. I 
unfortunately saw him get injured today in the game against the Seattle Mariners. Looks like he hurt his knee. I hope he's doing okay. Uh, hopefully he's not going to be out for too long. 2019 rookie stars, Brandon Lowe and Michael Perez. That's kind of cool. There's Cole Hamels. That's not a... Nope, no short prints for sure yet. Josh Harrison. Noah Syndergaard. And Leonis Martin, former Mariner. That's awesome. So nothing too big out of the Heritage Packs. Let's uh, dive into this hot corner box and see what kind of hits we get. I'm going to save them for last, as I've seen a lot of people do on YouTube. It's a little more exciting, I think, to to keep the, the guaranteed cool stuff for the last bit. These boxes aren't incredibly easy to open, unfortunately. They, they tend to put a lot of glue in the top, and so it makes it a little bit... Uh, of course, the hits are on the top and bottom, so we can see them easily. Yeah, they put a lot of glue in the top of that, so I found it's easier to open from the bottom. All right, so we've got, it looks like, Top top Series 2, 2018, 2018 Big League Tops, and a 2018 Update Series Tops Chrome. That's that's actually awesome. I'm excited about that. And a Panini Prism from 2013. So we'll save maybe the Tops Chrome for last right before the hits. And we'll start with these. So let's go with the Big League Pack here. Again, sorry about the lighting. I'll get things figured out as I continue to make some videos and, and go. For, we'll be able to adjust and make things better. So, Julio Tehran. Let's see what the back of these cards look like. I'm not quite as familiar with them. Awesome. And we've got Joe Urena. Andrew Kashner. Hey, there's a Mariner. Mike Leak. That's awesome. I'll always, in any videos I make, I'll be really excited when I get any Mariners at all. Uh, Jonathan Shoop. Alex Wood. Jim Palmer. That's cool. That's a retro-looking card. I don't really know much about Jim Palmer. Cool. A little bit older card. I like that. We got Garrett Richards. Robinson Cano, don't you know? <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not a Mariner anymore. He's now with the Mets, which is great for the Mets, good for Robinson Cano. Um, he's a cool player to have in Seattle, but all good things come to an end sometimes, and that's just how it is. And we've got a 2017 AL batting average leaders. Awesome. All right. So one pack out of the hot, out of the hot corner box out of the way. Let's dive into Topps 2018 Series 2. And if in future videos it'd be better for me to move the camera away a little bit from what I'm doing and what I've got going on, let me know. I'm definitely not going to ignore some feedback here at the beginning of my YouTube channel. Anything anything will be helpful for me. So Robert Stevenson, the Reds, Nick Topeno, 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 I, I guess. I've actually not seen him before. Max Scherzer, that's a cool card. I like the... Uh, uh, red, white, and blue there for a holiday situation. Tommy Pham. Seems like he's had some success lately. The St. Louis Cardinals team card. That's kind of cool, seeing all the guys in the dugout giving some high fives and doing their thing. James Shields. Hang on, I think I've got a variation here. So you can see here the Tops logo is different than it is on this card. Um, I wonder if that's like an old time stock, like an old, yep, it is. In fact, it's rough on the back, like cardboard. That is numbered even, 32 out of 99. Awesome. James Shields on kind of an old school uh, card stock and numbered. That's, that's awesome. I'm going to set that aside. It's a good pull. All right, legends in the making. We have King Felix Hernandez of Seattle. That's awesome. He's on a long contract. Struggled a little bit recently. Let's hope he can get back to his former glory right on top of the throne there. Uh, Bud Norris. Tyler Anderson. Jonathan Lucroy. Charlie Blackman. 
That's a lot of Rockies in a row. And Ubaldo Jimenez. Awesome. All right. Let's jump into the Panini cards here. I've never really collected Panini. Um, 2013 was a, a year I didn't do much collecting either. But it is a hobby pack, and they are pretty nice, pretty fancy cards. So let's open it up and, and see what I get. It's actually a little bit harder pack to open than than the others are. One thing I've noticed about Panini and Don Russ actually too that they're kind of kind of the, it's a bummer. Um, so they don't have the major league logos, team team names really. Um, like this card for example just says Houston instead of Astros. But here we have JD Martinez, pretty nice flashy looking card. Uh, Panini Prism. We have uh, Pedro Alvarez, who's a great pirate. And here he is in a pirate's uniform without the logoing and lettering. Logan Morrison. And these cards, unfortunately, they're not for everyone. The, the cards without the licensing for Major League Baseball are kind of a bummer. Um, it'd be awesome, in fact, if Don Russ and Panini and and all these companies could could get the license back and get things rolling so that they'd be able to print that again. It, it just it makes the cards feel more complete. It's definitely more enjoyable to seeing seeing the team logos. Here's an Albert Pujols superstar. That's pretty awesome. It's a pretty neat card. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, Nick Noonan, Noonan rookie card, and Paco Rodriguez. Awesome. I don't know who they are, but rookies are rookies, and I'm always excited to, to get some rookie cards and, and see what we've got going on there. So I guess at this point, let's probably take care of the hits because I'm not going to be able to hide them anymore. Uh, number one here is going to be the back of a card. <laughs> let's hurry and flip it over. Delman Young. Delwyn Young, excuse me. A little bit of a jersey piece there, and Alan Ginter's 20, 2008 Tops, Brooklyn, New York. That is a very interesting card. It's got a clear gap in it. It's kind of like I've got a frame, and yeah, the card is loose inside the frame. That's really interesting. It is a solid card. Awesome. I've I've never seen a card like this before. That's a really neat pull. I'm really not familiar at all with the Allens and Ginters cards in general, uh, but this one seems even more odd than than a lot of cards I've seen. Either way, awesome. Always glad to get a, a jersey card, get a relic. That's that's cool. That's another another good pull. All right, let's see what this other relic is here. If I can pick them up again. And we've got the back of the card again, so I'm going to rotate that. And let's see what we've got. Pirates, Maguire catcher, uh, Bowman Sterling autograph. That's pretty cool. What is the first name here, though? Top certified autograph. That's that's pretty cool. Maguire. Um, you know, I I don't even know. I couldn't tell you. Either way, it's a cool card. I, I don't know anything about this guy. Oh, Reese. When in doubt, look at the back. Reese McGuire. Prospects. Awesome. I'll be looking him up, trying to figure out who he is. That is one thing about these hot box or hot corner boxes that are a little bit different. Um, the, the relics and autographs you get from these boxes aren't always well-known players. In fact, typically they're not. I have gotten a double relic... Uh, Jose Bautista in one of these, which was awesome, but that's the only well-known player I've gotten out of out of these hot corner boxes that I, I could recognize right away and, and seem pretty awesome. So let's jump into the last pack I've got here, this Topps Chrome. Uh, again, it's 2018 Update Series. I'm pretty excited about that. I actually recently bought some update 2018 update cards, got myself a Ronald Acuna Jr. Awesome card. Uh, I don't typically get Topps Chrome. They're a little more expensive, and I don't, I don't really feel that they're too much more special than than the standard cards. But they're definitely printed on fancier pa on fancier cardboard or paper, and they're 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 nice cards overall. They really are nice cards. 
All right, here we go. So we've got Steven Piscotti. That's a pretty neat card. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's like a standard print or, ooh, there's something fancy behind that. I'll have to look into this, though, see see what we're really dealing with here, but I, I can't really hide this one anymore. I'm too excited about it. Wow, an international affair, Ozzy Albies. That's a pretty pretty nice looking card. And you know what? I do have some penny sleeves here handy. Being Topps Chrome, being a little bit more valuable cards, I am going to uh, put these in some penny sleeves as I pull them out. I'll try to take care of my cards. Just kind of see where where we go with this. But yeah, an international affair, Ozzy Albies. That's a pretty cool card right there. And behind that we have Scooter Gannett, who seems to be kind of a rising star. Don't really know much about Scooter, but we'll see what happens this season as we continue on. This is an all-star game card of Scooter Gannett. We're going to sleeve that for sure. Awesome. And last but not least, Alex Bregman, who, believe it or not, has his own YouTube channel, actually. Uh, he's, pre he's pretty entertaining. He uh, umpires some Little League games and blows a bunch of calls on purpose, and the kids and the parents get pretty upset, and then they find out who he is, and it, everyone has a good laugh, and it's kind of a cool experience. But yeah, I guess there we have it. Um, so again, I'm just starting out my collection, jumping on YouTube to showcase some stuff and and see where YouTube can take me in the collecting world, and, and just to have some fun with you guys. I'm hoping to do some maybe some giveaways and some other some other things that will keep things exciting on the channel. I'm sure the channel will evolve a lot as I do more videos and, and learn more about baseball cards and about YouTube and, and the whole world of it in general. Um, I do have some new cards coming pretty soon here in the mail. I've got some um, 2017 Tops 2017 update. I've got a whole box, a hobby box of packs coming that I'm going to do some openings of and, and just see how things go. Um, hoping to get some cool pulls from that and maybe some autographs and relics and and some other stuff. But that's all I've got for you for today. Look forward to another video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, and we'll see you soon.